So why wax the bottoms of pots? When we glaze a pot, we mostly apply it by dipping the pot into the glaze. But we don't want this to happen. These pots may be stuck to the kiln shelf for a variety of reasons. One of them might be glaze on the bottom. Another one might be a glaze that's too runny or a glaze that's too close to the bottom. So we want to avoid putting glaze on the bottoms of the pots. We also want to keep glaze off of the bottom quarter inch, which I call the foot. That'll prevent the glaze from sticking to the kiln shelf. Now take a look at this mug. On the bottom, we do have a flat area and then we have a beveled foot. I'm going to put wax on the flat area. The wax keeps the glaze from sticking and makes cleanup easier. I'm also going to avoid putting wax on the bevel itself. That'll clean up easier with the sponge. It's always best to use a little less wax than you think you need because you don't want to risk the wax dripping off the pot either. On something with a foot ring like this trimmed bowl, I don't even bother with the wax. I can just clean the foot ring with a sponge. The point of the wax is just to make the job easier and to make firing safe. So to get started, set up your area. I have this nifty bin lined with this avocado wallpaper, neat, a banding wheel, wax, water cup, and brushes. What you want to do first is go ahead and add water to the water cup. Next up, position your pot right in the center of the banding wheel. That way when you turn it, it's easy to apply the wax. Keep everything in the bin while you work to keep things clean. I'm going to use a quarter inch brush. Always put the brush in the water first. Now it seems weird, wax and water, they don't mix, right? This wax is called an emulsion. That means it's water soluble. You can rinse it with water until the wax dries. Once it dries though, it's permanent. So you're going to get a wet brush. You're going to dip it into the wax, give it a little stir, wipe off on the edge, and start right in the middle of the pot. You do not want to have a drippy wax coating here that's going to flow off of the pot. You want just enough to cover it. You see it's sort of this pale green color. That's fine. So turning it while applying ensures that you cover the whole bottom. Work your way up to the edge. Don't go past the edge. Rinse your brush. Use that brush to wipe away any excess wax. Allow that to dry. This wax needs to dry completely before you glaze. Now this mug is ready for glazing. Notice the wax covers the entire bottom, which will prevent the glaze from sticking. But I did not put wax on the foot. I'm going to clean the glaze off of that with a sponge later. If you're applying the wax and accidentally get a drip on the pot where you don't want it, there's nothing you can do. You can wipe that off, but it will not come off the pot. The only way to remove this wax is to burn it off in the kiln. So if this happens to you, you need to re-fire it in another bisque firing. You don't want that to happen, so just apply this carefully. If you try to wipe it off, the glaze still won't stick. So you have to burn it off in the kiln. So the point of waxing is simply to keep the glaze off of the bottom of the pot. We can use a sponge to clean up edges and other areas. When you are done, wash that brush with soap.